Hi everyone, Andy Davis here again from Master of Voice, a channel with reactions to performers from across the world. In this episode, another reaction to Demi Lovato, this time as she performs her new song Dancing with the Devil live. Let's jump right in. You guys, she is starting out here so well. You know, some reserved singing, some mezzo forte or medium volume singing here, sort of in the upper end of her chest voice, but not really putting out the power just yet. Easing into this song, a little bit of edge to the sound according to her vocal placement. You guys, I have learned so much more about Demi Lovato as I watched her four-part series here on YouTube just recently. It wrapped up earlier this week and made me think about this song, which I've only even heard bits and pieces of. So I'm excited to see this full performance of this song today. But so much has been going on with her over the years, but especially in the past few years. And I know you fans of hers are very aware of that and keen to what's going on. But if you're not uh, up to up to date on what's been going on with Demi, check out that uh, documentary, Dancing with the Devil, four shorter episodes. I really enjoyed it, just to learn more about what happened uh, during that time. And, you know, she touches on so many important topics, but I'm loving the vocals here already, you guys. Twisted reality, hopeless insanity. I told you I was okay. Beautiful piano with her here, you guys. Of course, stellar instrumentalists always with her and her performances. But these lyrics, you guys, after watching that and knowing how close it truly was for her. Also, I've lost people and, you know, you all have possibly lost people as well to uh, addiction, whether it was an overdose or uh, uh, just, you know, the accumulative uh, health issues that come along with addictions sometimes and not just addictions to drugs or alcohol you guys this is just such a topic that is so it just gets right to me you guys and I talked about that when I reacted to her video of anyone from the Grammys last year just a really vulnerable moment for her after she had been through so much and they actually discussed that performance on the series, but hearing this today, there's so much soul in her voice right here. She's opening up the volume just a little bit. As I said, building into this and just the lyrics though really got me there. I love the control she has of her voice and thankfully her voice is still sounding great, even more powerful possibly than before. And so I'm excited to see how this unfolds. Great control in that run there. So smooth. It's just a little white line, I'll be fine. So soulful. But soon that little white line is a little glass pie. Ten for a remedy, almost got the best from me. I keep praying I don't reach the end of my life. Oh my gosh, you guys, when you sing from experience, no matter what the topic is, you can just tell the truth coming out through their vocals, you guys. Every nuance about this is just perfection. I love it. Moments she seems to be 
uh, really focused within herself, but then looks up and looks right out to also talk to us, her listeners as well. And this is just a really great juxtaposition of that internal struggle that so many people go through, but yet also the face they need to put on or to then share their experience with the world. And I just see the, that happening here in this performance. Twisted reality, hopeless insanity. I told you I was okay, but I was lying. I was dancing with oh. the devil. Yes. Now into the bridge section of this song. I love that big belting chorus though. And she really just lets go, lets everything be free coming out of her there, a little less control, just really amping up the emotion through that volume she gives. Of course, needing to give us more space within the vowel sound in her mouth, both wider and taller. And now we're into a bridge section, just really building to the latter part of the song. This is an excellent song. I love the piano player with her as well. Also giving us that emotion and really dynamic contrast with his, within his performance as well. It is so incredible. Guys. <laughs> the emotion and soul, the passion she is putting out here, just allowing us into her world. But now I think feeling a bit of freedom, even though the journey is ongoing for anyone who deals with these issues. I know that firsthand within my own life. I can see a difference in her face here, especially in this part of the song. You know, she's been telling this story. But now I just felt like that note, that big belty note at the top of her chest voice range there was just so wonderful, so vulnerable, but so powerful. This is an incredible song. Oh! Yes, sing it, Demi! Oh! With the devil. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Thank you guys so much for coming. Oh my God. And thanks for tuning in. This was obviously a drive-in event here that has been so popular during this last year. But you guys opened up even more there with that powerful, that vulnerable power, if you will, in the upper end of her chest voice with that great edge to the sound, almost a rock edge mixed with a little bit of soul, you guys. Mm. I'm just so happy to be, see her back on the stage and performing, to see that she's, you know, back with us. It was scary to hear that. Uh, news a couple of years ago and now to just see her and know more about her through that documentary series was just it's been incredible this week and to be honest some of the things she was saying in that last episode about self-care of a number of different issues that she's had in her life and still continuing to work through them and um, it just really hit home to me and I know it did to so many of you as well and uh, if you haven't seen that though go check it out 
Her voice was just incredible in this. I loved that even more power at the end, but then pulled it back, pulled back those dynamics to a soft or really soft ending there to just really show her control as a vocalist, but also put that vulnerability out there from her heart. As an artist and as someone who knows that she influences so many people to just let us into her world like that, it's just beautiful. And that's what music does, you guys. It's there for us in the times we need it and for whatever moods we're in, but especially in these situations where it's sort of cathartic to sing through terrible situations or when you've overcome several things in your life. And she's still growing as a person. I'm still growing as a person. And uh, I know I've been off for a bit. I've been taking some time for myself, just a little bit of self-care for the past few weeks. And uh, it's been needed and important. I do feel a little guilty at times, not from you all, uh, uh, but just from myself that I want to keep putting out great content. But um, I have been going at it pretty hardcore through the holidays. And so I just needed a bit of a break. And so Watching that Demi documentary, honestly, uh, was just uh, good for me in so many ways. And uh, I've been working on several things this month uh, uh, to take care of me in order to be able to put out better, more genuine content to you all. And today, this video just really started me out on that foot, I think, you guys, just knowing the struggles here, but hearing it put forth in such a stellar musical performance. Ah! I hope you all enjoyed this reaction as much as I did today. If you did, please click like and hit subscribe for me. Leave me a comment down below about other content or other videos you'd like for me to react to. I also left links to my social media, my Ko-fi page down below, and otherwise, just have a great day.